All right, today we're actually in a wood shop here, and we have a vise, a four and a half vise that we have set, that we're going to set up. Now it comes with a grip here, if you guys can see it. Now you are going to need a 14 millimeter socket to set these up. If you guys can see, we have our socket; it's not included. Now they do give you these rubber silicone ends, and they come with ma magnets, so you can actually set it up on the actual grip itself. If you don't want to damage any of your woodwork or metal work that you're doing, it comes a couple other options here that you can set up. If you're running some rods or some cables here now they give you two options you can mount it to the actual wood panel or the floor or a table that if you have or you could like I said you could set them up with the grip if you have to so we're gonna set it up today with the actual grip today and we're gonna test it out how strong it is this is a 360 rotation the grip is very simple and very strong and it will not move or budge as long as you have it well mounted wherever you're setting it up all right so here we have the vice if you guys can see it 360 rotation all right the, anywhere you want it kind of hits some area but you could lift up certain things now this one if you want to lock the 360 you lock it in place it won't move it won't budge all right now this is very simple to move around we're also going to show you how to set up the the silicone pads and also we're going to do it free too so we're going to put a piece of wood here and we're going to show you how it works how, how simple it is to grab onto the piece of wood and you could do this by yourself on it so grip it up the last one the 360 and it will move now this thing will not budge anywhere so this how we're going to demonstrate here so we have a rod here that we're going to go ahead and cut just to go ahead <laughs> So one man job instead of two holding the rod or anything so if you have these marks in here is because you don't have any silicone um, coverings but if you don't want anything be to be damaged or marked you always put these silicone pads in there and they have the magnets in there we're going to demonstrate you that it's not going to leave any other pads or any other indentations like you can see here so we're going to go ahead and set up a piece of wood we're going to cut that piece that we just in that little part we're going to go ahead and grip it out here Okay, we have a lock in place and we're gonna cut, get rid of this whole piece that we just marked. And now we're gonna open it up to see if we have any kind of marks. With the silicone pads, beautiful. Didn't mark anything, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video.